Hey guys, I'm Chris with Dixie Gunworks. I wanted to do a quick video on gas port hole sizing and how critical it is. A couple weeks ago I was doing a training class with some people where we build up AR-15s and the batch of barrels that we got from the source was incorrectly drilled for the gas port hole. And so what ended up happening is when we took all the rifles out to qualify with them and make sure that everything cycled properly, nothing was recycling. We weren't getting anything to reload in the firearms due to not enough gas going back. We ended up limping through the day just to get through it and when I got back to my shop I started doing some looking on the barrels because we just weren't getting the gas to cycle the weapon. So what I ended up finding is I took just a set of calipers and took just a regular barrel that we had from the class and I went and checked the gas port size. I don't have any gauge pins so calipers are going to be as close as we come and I came in and did a measurement on the gas port hole and it came in right at 0 0.065 and if you look on any charts that porthole is set up size wise for a carbine length barrel system and this is a mid-length system so it's smaller than what it needs to be and if you go out and look on any of the charts that are out there that'll talk about the different gas port size sizes for the holes you're going to find that that 0 0.065 is roughly the area where a carbine length gas system for a barrel needs to be. So for a mid-length it needs to be 0.078 to 0.081 in sizing for a 16 inch barrel. And so what I've done is instead of sending these back to the manufacturer it's just really simple and quick fix is to drill it out yourself with a simple hand drill and a drill bit. So what I've got set up here is a drill bit that's going to be a 5 64ths and I'm going to just drill the hole out very simple, very easy, show you it's not a technique or anything like that. In fact, you already have a hole going down through your barrel, so the pilot hole is essentially drilled for you, and you can open up your gas port hole. Uh, if this is something that you don't feel you can do, or it's a little bit above and beyond your capabilities or talents, always take it to a qualified gunsmith or machinist and have it done, but it's one area that you can fix your rifle by yourself. Um, again, this was a barrel that was incorrectly drilled, and I'm going to fix it up real quick. So again, I have a 5 64th drill bit right down here. I've got a little bit of oil. You always want to oil up every time you're going to be using a drill bit in some way, shape, or form. And then we've got the gas port hole right here. And you just want to start in nice and slow and come out. Start in cutting a little bit more, come out, you're always cleaning out the hole by doing that. Always be cleaning out your chips, just like that. I'm going to clean them off the end of the drill bit. Now if you notice my drill, it moves back and forth a little bit, the head, and what that does is it gives a little buffer when I'm actually doing the drill, but what I'm watching is this space in here because when I'm drilling it'll go like that, but as soon as I get through onto the inside of the chamber, or not the chamber, but the barrel area, the head of the drill bit's going to open up, and I'm going to stop at that point because I don't want to poke into the opposite side of the lands and grooves on the inside. There, and it just went right in. I, I watched this open up a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it back, and now the hole is drilled. So that's all we needed to do. I'm going to wipe off this off the outside, and then I'll clear it on the inside. All right, guys, so as you can see, it wasn't a hard thing to drill that gas port out. Always remember, don't poke all the way into the barrel. You don't want to go all the way into the other side of your riflings. You want to keep as many of the burrs out as possible. I would always recommend pushing a cleaning patch down your barrel. Get all the junk and crud out as you are drilling and any of the excess oil. Plus it's also going to push any of those burrs or anything that you can't get out 
with normal tooling to get out of the way and then that way when your barrel when you first go out and shoot it it's going to clean it out even more so thanks for watching and hope this helps you guys in the future